Alright, here we have radioactive dwarves being lit on the switch, courtesy of uh, Chili Dog Interactive. Uh, we're going to go to settings, we're going to control, uh, language, music, and sound effects, volumes, load game, new game, and credits, we're going to go to new game. Yep, we're okay with that. So this game is very reminiscent of like old school um, style uh, PC games back in the day, is what it reminds me of. Um, it's kind of got that, that, that berserk feel. Um, or those old school um, DOS games. Um, it's a it's a pretty fun little game. It's extremely difficult. <laughs> I'll give it that. But essentially, you play this woman, and you're trying to find uh, your brother. And here we go. Use left stick to move, you can immediately go to the next level by entering the passage from below. Or you can walk around, look around, and practice right here. So here you play as a woman. Press A to shoot. Some items can improve your health, speed, shooting, etc. There are also such ones that cause harm. Newspapers do not affect the game, they can be collected just for fun. Here's one of the newspapers here. Manning dwarfs in the sewers. Sometimes dwarfs appear out of the blue, as if from the ground. They don't seem to be here right now, but you can practice shooting rats. I'm actually not gonna. Well. Be attentive to mushrooms. Red mushrooms increase your speed, while the purple ones decrease it. This one, however, well, some unknown mushroom that don't give you any advantages. So some some crates, as you can see, there um, house enemies inside. Uh, you need a key to get to the uh, uh, exit area. And this will tell you about grenades. Press X button to detonate a grenade. At the training stage, grenades aren't limited, but you will have only a certain amount of them during the game. So use them wisely. For example, in the moments when you are surrounded by enemies. Yeah, the grenades definitely do come in handy, but you only get like three. Okay, so I'm going to go out of here. You use either the analog stick or the D-pad to control your uh, main character. Um, I prefer the analog stick. The game uses autosave. We record your state at the beginning of the level. After you enter this passageway, you can check the load section. You'll be saved at the beginning of the first level and can play back from there next time without watching intro story or play this training level. Press and continue. And here we go. Moving on to the next level. There's a 1 of 20. So it's 20 levels. So that's it. Now you'd think it would be a short game, but this game in my opinion, is extremely difficult because, again, it's a throwback to those old retro-style PC games. And this doesn't hold your hand at all. There's no difficulty setting. It is just the way it is. Um, as you can see, the enemies do respawn. Um, a lot of the times, the, the difficulty comes really in the control of the character. Um, and that uh, she doesn't control well. At times, she'll get stuck in the wall like that, and you'll have an enemy come after you, and you'll just end up dying a lot of the time. And I'm surprised I'm lasting this long. Oh, I'm surprised I'm lasting this long. Try to find the key to get up in there. I think it's right here. Yep, it's right here. Now, I should have actually um, saved that grenade because this is going to get pretty dicey. Oh, see? <laughs> should have saved a grenade. Uh, but yeah, this game is just difficult. It's fun, don't get me wrong. It's really fun. I don't like the... Oh. 
Uh, I don't care for the uh, forced CRT effect. I don't like the bowing effect. I really don't. Um, I used to, uh, but I just don't care for it anymore. In this day and age, it's really not, not necessary. So I wish there was an option to turn that off. But I understand why they chose to, to have that in here, because it is definitely... Uh, it doesn't give the game a very uh, uh, nostalgic feel. Oh, I just died. Really? That'll happen sometimes too, where you'll you'll have an enemy just pop out of a out of a crate or or what have you, and you'll just die. You'll just take damage, and you're just done. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, I mean, overall, a really fun game. Um, just extremely difficult. I wish there was a way to adjust the difficulty setting, if not at least to. Uh, just, just an overall better, uh, better control of the character. I'm um, getting stuck there and having to force, forcing you to use a grenade or take damage just is not cool at all. And I might actually win this one. I might actually complete this stage now that I have a grenade left. Uh, yep. I won the stage. Cool. Yeah, so you can just go ahead and either kill all the enemies, which really doesn't count because they always respawn, and get all the gold, or you can just go ahead and just keep going. And this one introduces the green slime, which makes the enemies extremely hard to see. Um, and with this level here, more often than not, you'll take damage without even realizing it. Because um, when the the uh, when the uh, wizards show up, uh, it's really hard to see the uh, projectiles. Now that potion down there will let me go ahead and go through this green slime without taking any damage. That doesn't last very long at all. Essentially it gives you enough time to get through there and that's it. But similar to like look with the walls, um, your character will get stuck in these grates. And I just see this, this is really annoying. It's almost as if the um, the just the 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 character box is just too. Oh, oh that's cool! I didn't know that. You can hit the the bullets. That makes things a little bit easier. But uh, I'm trying to use a grenade. I don't have. Well, that's fun. But yeah, I mean, aside from the fact that the enemies respawn and um, the fact that oh, that was stupid the, the character gets stuck is just really annoying but other than that it's a great game um, if you look past those things definitely would recommend it again Radioactive Dwarves on Nintendo Switch is a great throwback to uh, old school PC games and I'll thank you for watching thank you for subscribing and so until next time take care and happy gaming